Hey guys, what's up? It's me Rob from Panther Vision and today we are going to make triangle grids where you can basically make all kinds of triangles but uh, the whole thing is made out of triangle grids so that's a different kind of grid system and we're going to make that. So first things first, let's uh, just a sec, let's select the, what is it called, the star tool. You can find it here in the shape builder tool or not it basically is the shapes panel or what is it called and just you're just gonna select the star tool or you can put it out I usually put these out so I can see everything and you know it's more easier to easier to access it and now I'm gonna press shift plus alt and now I'm gonna create a star like that um, so basically from this I'm going to create a triangle and I'm gonna press uh, the arrow down button on my keyboard and you can see now basically it's removing the edges of the star until it's gonna create a three edges edge triangle basically so this is our point to make this happen so now we got a triangle we're gonna remove uh, these two parts of the triangle with the what is that the pen tool we're going to remove this dot from here so it's a clean perfect um, line from the triangle. I'm going to basically increase the stroke of this a little more. Okay. And from here, I'm going to create another line by copy pasting it. So what I'm going to do, how I copy paste this, I click the alt so you can see a double arrow and I'm going to pull it. But I'm gonna hit the shift also so you can position right in place. So I'm gonna position this somewhere around here. I'm gonna group these and I'm gonna copy paste these basically, but not in a, but not in the same exact place, like you know, here, like this. I'm basically gonna do is uh, create a less space between these things. All right, so I'm gonna put it something like this. I'm gonna create 11 and I'm gonna press Control or Command D. I'm gonna create like 11 copies of these. So we're, we're gonna like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, or whatever. You can do it less, you, you can do it more. I'm gonna create 11. From here, I'm gonna press the O button. And you can see it selected the reflect tool from this menu. And I'm gonna gra grab the cursor here, press Alt and click. From here you can see we're at vertical. You can be at horizontal, but uh, we need to be at vertical. So I'm gonna hit copy. So now this, uh, the basically the triangle starts to come alive, starts to come together and we're gonna need to isolate these with uh, horizontal lines. The first one I'm gonna create from here to here and I'm gonna extend it till the end of these lines. Okay, and now we're gonna create the horizontal lines, all of them. Basically, I, this, I need to create from this line another copy and pull here and I need to pull there perfectly. So first thing what I'm gonna do is click Control or Command Y. So right now we can see uh, the perfect grid lines. And now I'm going to create a copy here and see and position it as perfect as possible right in the center. Wait a sec, we got a problem. I can't move it because it's like selected the snap to pixel. It's always select snap the pixel automatically when I enter into the software it's, and it's annoying but the main thing is I place it perfectly right into the center and okay I'm gonna group these and go back command or control Y because it's uh, working too slow right now when uh, it's in the grid mode now I'm gonna copy paste it here by clicking uh, Shift plus Alt. 
so it's gonna go somewhere around here okay release the buttons and from here just click command on or control D until it copy and pastes to the top and here of course we're gonna press command or control Y again so we can place this one this single one not all of them so we just need to place this one right in the center control Y again and from here we're gonna select all of the horizontal lines and go to this menu and select the vertical uh, distribution center just click it so now is everything centralized central you know everything is in the center the cent center 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 whatever it's called so i'm gonna create a copy oh my god i think i used the whole arbor uh, paper instead actually so i'm gonna go down decrease the whole thing so we get a copy right now and from here we can do all kind of triangles on this area all right you can do different kind of triangles i highly suggest you all the time create copies so you can have the original untouched you always create uh, copies so you don't need to go back and remake the whole thing from the start so i'm gonna click shift plus m and it's going to select the shape builder tool shift plus m plus m and from here i'm going to draw stuff i don't know i'm thinking to draw a go something like here i won't necessarily um perfect it i mean clear the, all the triangles right now what i want is uh just basically go and see what I can create from this. Okay, from here I gotta ungroup this I think I need to ungroup it like two times or three times okay and you can see the full shape is highlighted already I'm gonna create a copy paste a copy out of it and I'm gonna create another copy just like that and press shift X so you can invert from stroke to full fill color And this is what it is uh, you can create all kinds of triangles all kinds of styles this is one of those but yeah you can go wild with it and do whatever you want okay that was it thank you so much for watching hit the like and the subscribe button comment in the comment section below and thanks for watching have a great day bye bye